thing that's interesting, Pinehurst, back in the 80s, had what they called a walking club, where they allowed members to walk number two at certain times of the day, generally late in the afternoon. So it's walking has always been part of the culture here. I think it's greater than the last few years that there's just no restrictions. Yeah. We want, we want golfers to be able to play however they want to play. And if yeah. they want to push a cart, if they want to walk with a caddy, if they want to carry their own bag, uh, more power to them. We're just glad that they're here. We want them to enjoy it. I think it's, I think it's amazing how Americans will go to the UK, play 36 holes of golf, walk and carry or take a trolley or a caddy, and then they come back to the States and they get right back in the golf cart. <laughs> it's like they don't learn anything, but hopefully now that pendulum is swinging and people realize how much more fun it is to play this way, how much more healthy it is, and how you, you just get a feel for the ground. You, you're here, you can see every square inch of it and you can talk with all, everybody in your group rather than just your card mate. I think that is a big part of it. You know, when, when you do ride and you're with the same guy, you, right. you, you're always in those rushed conversations on right. the tee. Right. right. So yeah, I, I just the, the whole cadence of the game when you walk is different and I think it's preferable. And if you hit a bad shot and you just want to stew by yourself for a minute, you can do it. Right. Or if you want to talk, you can do that too. You, know, you can kind of go in and out of the social part of it um, as, it, as it works for you. So yeah, you get to be on your own individual journey when you're walking. You don't see an eagle, you don't see a hawk, you don't see the squirrels, um, you know, when you're in a golf cart. Because, you know, Willie McRae said it best, you know, he said, you move too fast in a golf cart, you get to the ball too fast. Yeah, right. You you're know, still upset about what just happened. Right. You haven't let it go. One of my favorite memories growing up playing youth golf, my brother and I went to a muni court and uh, outside the pro shop they had these push carts, right. trolleys, and we grab one. It's our first time using them. We drag them down the first fairway. We get to the end, we get to the green and we just leave them behind because it was terrible. It was, it was a horrible experience. We go back after the round into the pro shop and we told the guys we left two push carts by the green because they weren't working right. And they asked us, well, did you rent the handle? <laughs> <laughs> we hadn't rented a handle, so we were just dragging them, uh, holding on no to the No wonder they didn't work. <laughs> I think it's cool how you walk up here to the tee of number four and you see this, you know, little bevy of push carts just waiting for people to, to go. Correct, and they're, they're the same uh, push carts that they use at St. Andrews in Scotland. Oh, really? I mean, it, it's amazing how healthy the walking culture is here at Pinehurst. Unlimited walking, nine courses, members and guests. I mean, that's quite an evolution over a number of years. It has changed a lot, and, and I'm so proud of it. It's fun to see people on the golf course experiencing it the way they want to, and, and right. most of them, since the pandemic, have chosen to walk. Yeah. And taking a caddy on Pinehurst number two is, you know, a bucket list item for so many people, and I'd, you know, you can just take your bag out and carry it yourself. It's, it's an eminently walkable course. It's compact, almost no distance from one gr green to the next tee. It's just a great experience, particularly late in the day. I mean, yeah. I've interviewed any number of members that they just relish that experience of walking number two, and particularly getting over to 17, about six or 6.30, and the village chimes go off. Being out walking during the golden hours, there's just yeah. nothing else like it. Yeah, it's just a, it's a religious experience. Yeah.